Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday. Man, the roads were real icy this morning. We had a blizzard last night. April 6th into April 7th. A blizzard. I don't even know if that's allowed. Apparently, it's going to get away with it. I think I pulled something in my back. Oh, yeah. That started happening when I got into my 30s. You gotta be careful the way you work with chains and binders and stuff now. If you tighten down your binder just at the precisely the wrong angle, oh, your back just starts screaming at you for a week. So like, what did you do to me? Why did you twist me in that specific way? I don't like it. Nice Kenworth. The roads are almost dry again already. Ah, oh, that's nice. I hope we don't get any more snowstorms this year, but you know, I gotta knock on wood because May long weekend is coming. And it's a well-known thing in Manitoba. For all of you new people who are uh, like, have recently moved to Manitoba or are thinking about it, don't fall for May long weekend, okay? It's a trap. Everybody thinks, oh, it's springtime, because, you know, we get a few weeks of really warm weather, all the snow disappears. May long weekend is what, the first weekend in May? And everybody goes, oh, yay, it's springtime, let's go camping. Let's do something outdoors. You know, some people would plan their weddings. It's a long weekend, it's spring, it's gonna be beautiful. No, no, don't do it, it's a trap. Every year, if it's not pouring rain, like the cold rain, not the nice summer rain, the cold spring rain, if it's not raining, it's snowing every year. So don't even bother. Everybody packs the campgrounds and everybody gets, you know, surprised every year. So there's a little friendly Manitoba insider tip for you. May long weekend's a trap. probably get really warm yet like throughout April like really warm and that's why the trap works so well all the snow will be gone the Sun will be shining we'll be outside in t-shirts and shorts and then all of a sudden boom May long weekend hits ha ah, snow it's a cruel joke that Manitoba mother nature always plays on us every year we fall for it I'm guilty of it too fall for it almost every year not this year no plans on May long weekend. I plan to be indoors somewhere warm and dry. This is day number four, right? Ah, uh, yeah. She's just mixing up the IVF injections. That's what I call them anyways. Trucker Josh is going to take a stab at this. Yeah. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> Alright. Hold that, will you? I need to push the air out, right? Let's see. Oh, there we go. Let's go. Let's go right here. Where? Gosh. I have such slippery skin. Right there. You ready? Yeah, go straight up. Okay. Whew. Why do they hurt more and more every time? Did I do it right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I was very nervous. That one really hurts for some reason. I don't know why. Does it hurt? Does it hurt because I did it, or does it hurt? No, it hurt last night too. I'm just a wiener. Ignore me. So the next is the pen, and uh, she's gonna have to get stuck twice. Twice today. 
<laughs> because, uh, let's check this out. There's only, uh, about, what is that, 150, 175? In there? So then we're going to set the amount for 225, which yeah. is my dosage. And then we're going to put it all the way in. And whatever number is left on that little screen is what we have to put into the next pin. You just got to transfer the number over. Alcohol, swab, everything. Yeah. I'm an idiot though, and I forgot to do those ones, I think, today. Well, just hope for the best. Thankfully, I have a good immune system. It fights off infections easy, so. <laughs> I should have been clean. I'm pretty sure they would be clean. Yeah. Alrighty. Set that for 225. 225. There she be. Okay. 225, right in there. Alrighty. I'm poking this one. I'll poke sure. This one. You do that one. Alright. Yeah, it looks like about 175. That's what I thought last night, too, when I saw it. So this pen is so much better than the other ones. It'll, uh, it'll tell her exactly how much she put in. Mm -hmm. And we have another one uh, around here, right there. Second one. Uh, where should we go today? Oh, my belly is so bloated. That's like my number one symptom. It's just a ton of bloating. Even, I didn't even have an emotional outburst today at all today. Not today at all today. Did I really just say that? <laughs> Starting to repeat myself and stutter. Maybe that's a side effect. Puts it in, holds it. It went to zero. There was a full dose in there. We just realized that she doesn't have to take two needles today because uh, this pen had 900 uh, units. Is that what they call it? Individual units, yeah. 900 individual units in here. And uh, she's taken four needles now at 225 individual units each. Exactly we four. Just did the math. <laughs> that equals 900. So we're freaking out. We're like, oh, the pen must have malfunctioned. It says that we don't need any more. I'm like, we better text the emergency line. Wait, first we should probably math. <laughs> Josh figured that one out. I was just in panic mode at that point. Trucker math. That's right. Truckers are good at math, believe it or not. We have to do it every day. It just takes me a little while sometimes. I gotta turn on my brain calculator. I didn't even do it with my phone. My math teacher would be so proud. So proud. So how are you feeling? Fine, actually. Yeah. No big side effects. I'm still feeling pretty good. The bloat is the biggest side effect. A little bit of fatigue, tiny bit of nausea here and there, and very minor, like, yeah. emotions, so. Her body's handling it pretty well. We were warned that there would be all kinds of emotional roller coasters going on. Yeah. None. But, uh, I thought for sure I'd be a basket case in a straitjacket by now, but nope. Hmm. No, no need. I guess we just want it so bad. <laughs> I guess so. My body's yeah. actually handling something like a trooper for the first time in my life. Usually I get all the side effects and more. Mm -hmm. Just meant to be. Guess so. Maybe it's, it's a good sign. It's gonna work. So that's where we're gonna end today. I have one more day of injections uh, and then more injections. More injections. <laughs> but Friday, we go see the doctor first. I mean, one more night of injections and then we go see the doctor. Or she goes to see the doctor. I keep saying the whole we thing. All I'm doing is going to the parking lot. She's going up to the doctor. <laughs> and uh, I guess we'll update you guys from there. Yeah, we'll see how the uh, follicles are taken to the stimulating hormones. Mm -hmm. Hopefully all 14 are growing away. And one day when our future child is watching this, you better love us. Especially your mama. <laughs> we went through a whole lot to bring you into this world. And you owe us about 20 grand. So uh, get a job. <laughs>